Good morning. Thank you for joining us today here in the wonderful Lords, uh, where we come to the final stage of our week here of our pilgrimage. So my name is Martina, and I'll be reading the first reading of the day. It's a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. As Jesus left Jericho with his disciples and a large crowd, Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, a blind beggar was sitting at the side of the road. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout and to say, Son of David, Jesus, have pity on me. And many of them scolded him and told him to keep quiet. But he only shouted all the louder, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him here. So they called the blind man. Courage, they said. Get up, he's calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he jumped up and went to Jesus. Then Jesus spoke, what do you want me to do for you? Rabbi, the blind man said to him, master, please let me see again. Jesus said to him, go, your faith has saved you. And immediately his sight returned and he followed him along the road. Good morning everyone, my name's Jason and welcome today, as Martina says, there's wonderful lords. We've got the basilica in the background and it's, uh, it's a real joy to be here. Um, on the reading that Martina just spoke about, on the gospel reading, what brings out to me is, the, is a reading that we're all familiar with, um, that many, many people know, millions of people know the meaning. And it's often said about the spiritual blindness. For me, with Bartimaeus, is that the very fact that we know his name, um, a name that's gone down in history. Um, for a man who was so significant, a man, yes, who was blind, um, but who was discarded and so significant. Um, a man who had, no other res who had other resources and used his voice when the Lord approached. He had that faith, a blind faith, perhaps. He knew that this was the Messiah. He knew that this was the son of David. He screamed out when everyone heckled him and put him down. And it's, it's, it's just marvelous. He leapt up to his feet and he followed, followed Christ. The story tells me of about that immediate. He was blind. This was his chance, and although he was put down, he threw off his cloak. He was, he was put down. He was put down. But he leapt up and followed Christ um, with great courage. So it's, it's so good to have that, that meaning of courage because I know it takes everyone to find a different strength of courage to be here, to get here. Um, to be amongst, to prepare here, to prepare for here. It's just, yeah, it's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Yeah. And I couldn't agree more. I think our theme for this week is a light of hope. And you spoke about the courage that he had, and absolutely, he had that hope that by getting to his knees and, and asking and seeking that help, he had the hope that that would, that his hopes and dreams will be answered. And he, he wanted to see again. And he showed that courage. And I think when you go around Lords and you come to Lords, you see that in every session, when you're just walking through the ground, it's, it's a massive theme of hope and strength. So thank you for joining us today. And I'd like to end on saying, Mother Mary, pray for us. Saint Eugene, pray for us. The saints, pray for us. Is that all right? <laughs>